I'm still getting a million and one questions about the videos that I posted about the birth certificate. So I'm going to go back and try to summarize and then also give y'all resources so that y'all can start looking it up for yourself. Um, but this will be my last time. So this all started with the Siesta Key Bay Act of 1666. Look it up and I'll put um, the name on there so y'all can look it up. This is what they use to make the state the trustee of the Social Security Trust. And then they also, in this act, deemed us dead or lost at sea. Because we come by water, when our mom's water break, we come, we are deemed to be vessels. Now, there's a couple things you need to know about vessels. One, the name of a vessel is always in all capital letters. You can look that up. And two, a vessel has to be registered, enrolled, and licensed. So think about every single time you've had to register, enroll, in school, enroll, or get a license. Those are all reconfirmation that you're a U.S. citizen because that's something that a vessel would do, which is a U.S. citizen. So when your mom had you, she gave you up as an informant to the state, letting them know a new vessel had arrived on their territory. And there's something called the Abandoned Shipwreck Act. Because we're deemed dead or lost at sea and we're vessels floating out on the dead or lost at sea, right? Um, if we're on their, in their jurisdiction, then there's something called the Abandoned Shipwreck Act, which allows them to um, basically come in and take control of any abandoned vessels. So because your mom gave you up as an informant to the state, letting them know that a abandoned vessel has come onto their property because she didn't claim the vessel within two weeks, they go in and claim the vessel. How she does this is when she registers you for a birth certificate and social security benefits. Um, also think she enrolls you in school. It's a lot of things that your parents do that kind of lock you into the system and solidify it. The only reason why you go to public school and the only reason why it's called public school one through 12 is to teach you how to operate in the public, meaning like in commerce, because the difference is, is moving to the private instead of being in the public. So the state acts as the trustee of the trust and you are the beneficiary. But um, when it comes to the birth certificate, you cannot own the birth certificate because you didn't create it. What you create, you control. Um, however, you can control it since it's in your name. So the goal is to own nothing but control everything, right? Um, and that's what's happening right now. The only difference is everything that you own is in a trust, which is a social security trust and it's owned or not owned, but controlled by the state. So what you want to do is put it in your own trust and put it in your own situation so that you can then control it because what you create, you control. So how do you start the process for this is called authenticating the birth certificate. That is what you do. Like that is why you're doing it, right? So when you move it into your own trust, you still don't own anything. The trust owns it, but you don't have any liabilities because you only have liabilities when you own things.